Hey guys, I'm going to start this weekly vlog off quickly with uh, an outfit of the day because I'm just running out of the house. It's super hot today, so I've got the Kami on. Um, this is actually really old, it's from Topshop. It's like a button down, really tiny polka dot cami that I've had for ages. Always crack it out in summer. Uh, so I've got that on with my BDG wide leg jeans. I love these jeans so much. I've got them on with this mango bag, which I'm super excited about. This was sold out for ages and it just came back in stock. So of course I grabbed one because I've literally been refreshing the page for about two months. I've got uh, my ATP Rosa slides on and uh, normal jewelry, Ray-Ban sunglasses and hair that I decided not to wash today, hence the ponytail. Look at the wisteria on this house, it's incredible. Hey guys, it is Monday again. I feel like the last time I vlogged was last Monday. Uh, but it's Monday and um, I've actually just been out for a little bit. Really disgustingly it started raining, which is super summer inappropriate, uh, seeing as I'm dressed completely summery right now. But I did a few things in town, I ran a few errands and I actually did a little bit of shopping. Just a tad, just a small little bit. Um, and I really like everything that I got, so I thought I would just quickly show you. I'm wearing one of the things that I bought now. Um, I went into H&M and they are doing summer so, so well. I want to buy everything. They have a lot of linen and khaki and things that I like. So um, I got a few bits from there and I'm actually really, really happy with them. Uh, I also went into Boots and uh, I do have one thing from Zara as well that I got that I'm super, super into so this is what i have on at the moment this is what i've just been trying on i picked this up purely to kind of like wear over a bikini or in the garden or something but i actually really really like it it's just this little kind of halter neck romper romper play suit which country are we in um and it's got these little like scallopy details at the side here i really like how it looks with the gold jewelry i'm super into this kind of like khaki green color at the moment if you couldn't tell um i'm so not a blaze suit girl at all but i really really like this so yeah that's the first thing i got it's also got this like how am i gonna show you this oh hello terrible tan line it's also got like an open back um which i think is really cool although i do still have to wear a bra with it so that's a little bit annoying <laughs> having boobs is great so next is this little wrap dress. I've been obsessed with uh, finding the perfect polka dot wrap dress recently. Just something that I feel like I need to have. And uh, yeah, again, I saw this one super cheap, really like affordable H&M. It's kind of not quite a midi and not quite a short dress. Oh, it's longer at the back there. The slit on this is a little bit confusing. I feel like when I start walking, if it's windy, I might be flashing a few people. But it's fine, we'll wear black underwear, it's okay. And then this little stripe cami top is the third thing that I picked up from H&M. I have it tucked into a pair of my Topshop jeans at the moment. But um, yeah, this is what it looks like. I really like the kind of cut of this. It's like very spaghetti strappy, um, but it's got quite a square neck, which I enjoy. So yeah, I probably would wear it tucked into things, of course. Can't live life without a tuck. I should have that written on a t-shirt or something. Um, but yeah, it's like a little navy blue and white stripe. Let me just check the <laughs> tag. $8.99. You can't go wrong. You really can't. So then this is what I got from Zara. Um, I have been stalking this swimsuit online for so long and they never had it in a large, which is what I wanted to get it in. Um, and then I finally found it and I'm super happy. It's such a flattering cut. It's like um, a square kind of neck. It has these super thin halter straps. Really, really cute. It's kind of like one of those high-waisted ones, but not super halfway up your bum, which I don't enjoy so much. So yeah, and then the back is like quite open, but then it has uh, a little clasp here at the back too. Also has like padding in it, which is amazing. So yeah, I didn't know I was a swimsuit girl, but I absolutely love this one. And then I also went to Boots. This is like a proper old school, like I went to the high street, should have been buying lunch, but instead... <laughs> Bought a load of stuff kind of haul 
Um, I wanted to pick this up actually, it's from La Roche-Posay, which are one of my favourite, favourite skincare brands. I have a lot of redness around my nose and kind of like, um, what are they called, capillaries? Little visible capillaries. And I thought this would be a really good range to try. This is the Rosiliac, which is specifically for redness. So I'm excited to give that a go. It's not really something that uh, I think anybody would notice apart from me, but it kind of frustrates me a little bit when I always have to conceal around my nose. I'm actually not wearing any foundation or any base today. I've been really enjoying a foundation-free kind of makeup routine, which I think I might film for this week's video. I took a week off uploading just to kind of get back into being inspired and think of some new ideas. I think it's kind of hard when you're constantly coming down to a deadline um, and you have to think of a new idea and you want it to be fresh and fun and something that people are going to want to watch, not just the same old, same old over and over again. She says that, planning to film another minimal makeup routine, which is, yeah, that's pretty standard for me, isn't it? But anyway, uh, yeah, I know you guys really enjoy the vlogs. Um, I think that's kind of a common thing now. Personally, I watch a lot of vlogs on YouTube, so I know you guys probably enjoy the weekly vlog more than anything else I put up on this channel. And hauls. Everybody loves a haul. I find it interesting that uh, the videos of mine that you watch the most are hauls, and then I also get told off for having too many clothes. <laughs> It's a tricky, tricky place to be in. Um, how has this turned into an impromptu YouTube channel chat? I'm not sure, but I'm looking very shiny at the moment, so I'm gonna go and fix this and eat that lunch that I was supposed to get two hours ago and got distracted by shopping and clothes. Uh, excuse my wet head at the moment. I was just getting ready for the day. Uh, today is a hair wash day and um, so many of you guys have been asking me recently how I style my hair. So I thought this is the perfect opportunity. I'll throw this in a vlog because I'm about to style it now. Uh, yeah, so I've literally just washed it and I'm gonna take you through the whole process, everything I put in it, uh, what I do. These are the two things that I use to wash my hair today. I kind of do a rotation. I'm not super faithful to shampoos and conditioners, but I've been using the Orbe Bright Blonde at the moment. Uh, it's basically just a purple shampoo, purple conditioner. And I like these because the purple shampoo is pigmented, which is always what you want to look for. But the conditioner is also really hydrating, which is good because purple shampoos tend to be very drying. The rest of the products that I do use are kind of just all in here. But before I show you those, um, I just wanted to talk about the hair tools that I use. So obviously a hair dryer. Uh, this is my baby, my child. I love this so, so much. It's a Dyson hair dryer. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen these before and it is incredible um i know they're expensive but i highly recommend trying one of these it was definitely worth the money for me i also use a curling wand um i've been through so many curling wands in my life i can't even remember the number but i've kind of settled on this one i've been using it now for about six or seven months and it's awesome it's the cloud nine um curling one they do two sizes this is the smaller one it's just a very straight um, untapered barrel and it really gives me the kind of waves and texture that I like so those two are essentials and then some of the hair bits that I use this one goes on my hair every time I wash it it's the Kerastase Cement Thermique it smells like lime polos does anybody remember lime polos I don't think they make them anymore but uh, this is kind of like my heat protectant and another product that I use every time I wash my hair is a mousse. Uh, I have super, super fine, ridiculously flat hair and this just gives it a bit of hold and grip and volume. This is a really, really bad angle. I'm having to lean over so much, but I take the cement the meek first. Am I saying that right? That's why I've said it for like six or seven years, so let's hope. 
um, and I kind of run this through mostly the ends first. It's, it's kind of a creamy texture, but it is really light. It doesn't wear your hair down. Um, so mostly on the blonde, but I tried to get it through all of my hair. That's gonna keep it protected um, and stop any heat damage. Then the mousse, I take kind of like that much of it. Seems like quite a lot, but it does sort of disperse through your hair. Uh, and this I kind of just concentrate at the roots. So I messily just kind of rub this in there. I tried to get some at the front too because I find <laughs> I find this helps um, my little waves at the front hold better and a bit through the middle. And then ooh, <laughs> the last bits I'll just sort of go through. Um, if I am using the mousse, I make sure that I blow dry my hair because if you use that and let your hair uh, dry naturally it kind of goes a bit weird and a bit too crispy. I don't actually um, let my hair air dry all that often. I usually only do it if I'm in a pinch and I can't get to the hair dryer just because I feel like it actually makes my hair more frizzy if I let it dry naturally. Probably because my hair is quite damaged as it is. So um, yeah, air drying isn't really something I do that often. There is a third product that I've been using a lot as well recently. I mentioned this in my favorites actually, it's a leave-in conditioner from Sashuan. I, uh, I really like this, I just kind of spray it through my ends and it gives just a little bit more moisture. It just kind of uh, adds a bit more hydration into those dry, dry ends. And we're in the bedroom. I don't actually have a plug anywhere near my bathroom so I have to come in here uh, to use my hair dryer and such. So I just kind of rough dry uh, mainly my roots with this first. Oh hello, Moon loves the hair dryer. She just sits there whenever I'm drying my hair and just sort of asks to be blow dried too. Don't know how noisy this is gonna be, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. through it just to kind of break all those curls up. Um, I do use one styling product after I've done everything and it's the Cool Girl Barely There Texture Mist. This is by Sam McKnight. So I kind of use this to set everything and also give some extra volume to the roots because I'm always after volume for my flat pancake hair. Sometimes as well I will take um, like a teasing comb or a teasing brush and just take the crown here um, and give that a little bit of a tease just to give some height and volume there. So it's gonna take about half an hour for the curls to drop out a little bit and for everything to be in the right place, but that's basically what I do to my hair. It is uh, actually Saturday today. I don't usually vlog on the weekends, but today you have me, you have weekend me. Um, I'm actually going into town to shoot some things, I think, I'm gonna take a camera and see what happens. It's really sunny today, so it's gonna be nice uh, to be outside and to take some photos. Look how pretty this is. I love this garden. 
guys so um i thought i would just jump on here at the end of this vlog quickly just to say goodbye because i didn't get around to filming anything else yesterday it's sunday today and uh there was a massive massive thunder and lightning storm yesterday which kept me up all night so um i've just been having a little nap here in the sun which has been lovely and uh yeah i don't have many more plans for today other than to just sit here read my book have a nice lolly and yeah that's as far as i've got so far <laughs> so um i hope you guys are having a great day i think when this goes up um it's gonna be bank holiday monday so i hope you've had a great bank holiday weekend i'm actually gonna put up a blog post today um first time in a little while so uh i will leave that link down below for you guys uh, if you want to go and check it out i'm gonna be posting on there hopefully a little bit more frequently this month or next month so yeah keep an eye on there i don't really know how or if people read blogs anymore um i usually just read a post if i see someone post about it on instagram or something like that but yeah let me know how you like to see new blog posts so if you want me to post about them on instagram or twitter um or just tell you guys in a video and i can do that so yeah i will leave that link down below that is it from this vlog though today thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you all in my next video bye